Thinking about freezing your eggs? Freezing your eggs is probably a term you've heard from your favorite celebrity, social media influencer, or your family and friends. And you may be wondering what it really is, and maybe you've also wondered if this is something you would do yourself. Egg freezing or oocyte cryopreservation is a procedure by which a woman's eggs or oocytes are extracted, frozen, and stored as a method to preserve reproductive potential in women who are of reproductive age. You would typically go to your fertility specialist to get this procedure done. Let's take a look at a bit of the history of egg freezing. It's not a new process. The first human birth from a frozen oocyte was achieved in Australia in 1986 using controlled or slow freezing, which is actually an older technique. Since then, many advances have been made in the field, and a new process called vitrification has become more widely used. So how does it all work? First off, generally you'd meet with your fertility doctor or specialist for a consultation involving some blood tests and a pelvic ultrasound to get an idea of the number of eggs in your ovaries. You will also be put on fertility medication to help stimulate eggs to become mature and ready for retrieval. After that, the eggs will be frozen and stored. The eggs are generally frozen using a vitrification or fast freezing technique. Vitrification is a highly used technique which involves flash freezing the oocyte cells to sub-zero temperatures. Vitrification is done to get rid of the water inside the oocyte cells which could potentially form ice crystals. An ice crystal formation could damage the cells. This technique is important because oocyte cells, unlike sperm cells, are large cells with a high water content. So you may be wondering what the cost of egg freezing is. Costs largely depend on your place of residence and which doctor you go see. However, the typical cost of freezing your eggs in Canada is around 10000 which breaks down into around 7000 to extract and freeze the eggs and the additional price of fertility medication. The fertility medication price is highly personalized, so it would be best to consult with your doctor to get an accurate price. In addition, there's a storage fee for the eggs, which is typically around $300 per year. After that, when you decide to use the eggs, there is an in vitro fertilization fee or IVF to implant the eggs. The price of IVF could range between $3,000 to $6,000. So you may be wondering who gets egg freezing done and why? Is there an ideal candidate? Egg freezing may be considered by women due to medical reasons. A woman affected by cancer or endometriosis may leave her with a reduced ovarian reserve post-surgery. Egg freezing may also be considered by women with autoimmune diseases that require gonadotoxic treatment and women with genetic aberrations that may experience fertility or the risk of early menopause later in life. But that's not all. There are also social or personal reasons why a woman may consider this procedure which may include a lack of a partner or simply not being ready for pregnancy in their current time. In terms of being an ideal candidate, women should also consider this. The fertility decline experienced by women greatly accelerates after the age of 35. These declines are even more pronounced if they postpone egg freezing until the age of 40. So why is there a fertility decline? This decline is largely attributed to the decrease in ovarian follicle number and oocyte quality, which is why women should consider freezing at an earlier age. So what are the success rates? Information about the outcomes of elective oocyte cryopreservation is scarce, as there are few data about women returning to use the frozen eggs. This could be because they achieved pregnancy without using the eggs that they froze. It's also important to keep in mind that the success rates vary among clinics and techniques used to freeze the eggs. In one study, researchers conducted randomized trials to compare the two types of egg freezing techniques. It was discovered that there's a higher post stall survival rate of 80 to 91 percent for eggs retrieved using vitrification versus slow freeze oocytes, which only had a 61 to 67 percent survival rate. You may be wondering if there are any potential risks or side effects of egg freezing and pregnancy. Let's break it down for you. Pregnancy at an older age is an apparent risk. The older a woman gets, the more health-related conditions she may have, 
Some of these age-related risks of pregnancy include gestational diabetes, which is improper glucose metabolism during pregnancy. Another one is preeclampsia, which is a pregnancy complication consisting of high blood pressure and complication of another organ system, most often is the liver or the kidney. The other complication that could occur is premature birth of the baby. But are there any risks associated with oocyte cryopreservation itself? Well, there may be a risk during ovarian stimulation part of the egg freezing process. The patient may experience ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which is the cystic enlargement of the ovaries due to increased capillary permeability and new angiogenesis at the ovaries. This can be caused by too much hormone medication in the system. Another risk would be moderate side effects during the course of the procedure, such as nausea, vomiting, fatigue, headaches, abdominal pain, shortness of breath, breast tenderness, and irritability. In severe cases, 0.1 to 0.2% of patients may endure all of the above, plus blood clots, increased blood viscosity, changes in blood volume, dehydration, and hospitalization due to vomiting. If you want more information about egg freezing and whether it's right for you, it's best to consult with your doctor. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more videos like this, check out the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel.